what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter Blog and today we're going to open a bunch more P.O. books mail. Now, as you can see I put everything nice together but I cannot open everything in one video. That would just be, first of all, a very long video and second of all, cost me a lot of energy to do in one go and thirdly, I want to put, um, like give every piece of meal the attention it deserves and if I try to squeeze everything into one video that would just be not not be possible for me because I like to look at things and open things and discuss things and you know do that kind of in a normal pace and not super rushed so that you guys can also see every individual piece of meal kind of closely and uh, get all of the inspiration in here. <laughs> Um, I picked this up two days ago. I cycled to my PO books. It had been I think nearly a month since I last went I don't know. I think it has been a month um, Which is quite long, but um, I now live so far away from my PO books that cycling there takes me like at least an hour an hour and a half Everything in total so that I try to spread it out a little bit more <clears throat> And as a result of that, I pick up a lot of mail in one go, but on top of that, I think the last couple of weeks I've also received a lot more mail than usual. I don't know what this is due to, maybe after summer people finally have some energy, um, it's not that hot anymore so people finally want to craft again or I don't I have like this email count and it said I had around 10 pieces of mail so I did not expect to find this many. I don't actually know how many. So I found 16 pieces of mail in my PO box which is a rather large amount. I accidentally took oh this one. <clears throat> so I think I found 16 pieces of mail in my PO box if I count it correctly. I do have one in here that came to my home address but I'm still going to show it uh, on camera. So, okay, I don't really know. I have looked at a few, taken a few peeks here and there, as you can see, some open envelopes. I've read a few letters, but actually not that many. But I'm going to start with um, the first batch. I, actually, I might as well start with this one um, because, okay, funny thing, this one is actually from my pen pal, Emilia. I've showed many of her mails on my channel before because she makes incredible things. You can also see this beautifully decorated envelope that's just totally her thing, you know? She does like layers and clusters and it's always super, super pretty. And this was actually probably one of the last mails to arrive in my P.O. box. So when I opened the P.O. box, I saw this as one of the first mails. I was immediately blown away by it. And then when I looked at the back, it said Amelia. And I was like, hey, <laughs> because usually when we write pen pal letters, uh, she writes to my home address. So I have not opened it yet. There's like a crinkling sound in here. Oh, I think it's just the envelope. But okay, I'm very curious to see what is in here. So like I said, the envelope is beautifully decorated. She once again has this incredible stamp. This one is new to me. I have not seen that one before. Beautiful butterfly. Definitely my style. I hope you guys can see this all right. I completely forgot to say this. I forgot to say two things. First of all, is that I ha now have a new tripod. You may have realized it, but I can fully, freely move my arms. I finally have a tri an overhead tripod. I am beyond excited. Because that is actually one of the things that I got most negative feedback about, that people hated that my camera angle was tilted, which I also understand. It's just not something I could do something about. But now I have this beautiful overhead tripod, so you guys can really see everything from the top down. Um, that being said, I am also going to invest in the future in a in daylight lamps, because it's now fall. It's like daylight savings I think. It's now four o'clock and it's already getting dark which is kind of depressing. The second thing I forgot to do is tell you the mail I have sent out since the previous video. Okay so I'm fairly certain... Have I shared these? Oh I do not remember. I think the last ones I mentioned in the previous videos were that I replied to Stephanie from the USA and Kristen from the USA. 
did I? I think so. So Kristen from the USA and then in between the previous video and this video I have replied to Gabby from the USA, Tony from the USA, Kylie from Australia. <clears throat> Excuse me, so that's three more this month. Whoa. Three more this month, if I'm not mistaken, but I'm not entirely sure if I, where I left off the last time. So three more mails I have replied to. Um, like I said, I reply randomly to at least two to three people each month, but usually it's a lot more. However, because I've been working so much on PO Box replies, I kind of neglected my pen pals. So last week I decided to write a lot of pen pal letters. So that's why there's not a whole lot of replies. That's just because I was focusing on my pen pals for a little while. But now I'm gonna go back to PO Box mail. <clears throat> So next time I do this, this video, there will be more names. Without further ado, oh my god, I didn't even realize this cute little cluster. I'm just going to see what my pen pal made me. Oh, that looks nice. We've got a little note. Dear friend, I just wanted to share with you these embellishments I made using my very new dies. They were super fast to make, so I wanted to gift you some. Use as decorations, etc. With love, Emily. Oh, I'm so curious. Oh, that is so cute. That's so cute. She has like these little coffee cup embellishments. Coffee cup embellishments. Oh, that's adorable. That's so cute. I love these little layered. Like I said, she's very good at layering things. And even the paper she used is pretty. <laughs> Life is a song, love is the music, and let love grow. So these are super, these will be super cute for using, for decorating. Decorating. I might actually hang them up for a little while just so I can get some inspiration. Thank you so much, Amelia. I'm. I will put these to good use. So, next up is this little cutie from Australia. This one is from Hannah. And I think I've said this before, but Hannah is from Sydney. And I know Sydney is rather big, rather large. But since I've been to Sydney, I always wonder if we maybe ever bumped into each other because I used to live there for six months. So then whenever I see someone is from Sydney or close to Sydney, I always wonder if maybe we, uh, like many, many years ago, we accidentally bumped into each other or something. That's just something funny I always think about. And then she used these beautiful uh, Sydney Cricket Ground stamps that I have not yet seen. And the envelope is also decorated really nicely. But I'm going to go straight into the meal. I already did read the letter. Uh, because her, like, okay. Okay, I'm all over the place. Uh, what I wanted to say is I already read the letter because it's in this cute little envelope. Look, she has this adorable little postcard. It says, sending love. A little note card, I should say. And then she, um, she put the note here with... Uh, type so that I could reuse this adorable little envelope. It's so cute. And then she also included the note paper, the matching note paper for me. First of all, dried flowers, which I'm going to use for wax sealing. And then look at this adorable mini stationery. It's so pretty. I love this little fall theme. We've got magic -y mushrooms, your magic, this one. And then there's so much room in my heart for you. How cute is that? I absolutely love that. I did not actually realize when I looked at this the previous time that there were four different uh, four different note pages. I actually thought that it was four the same. So I'm really, really excited to find this out. Like I said, it is getting a little bit dark. I hope it's still okay for you guys to see. I'm probably going to cut this video in four if I have to. And then I did not actually open the rest. She wrapped up some stickers for me in this pretty um, tissue paper. And then she made an another one because she wrote to me in the previous PO Box opening as well. Another one of these little um, handmade envelopes. Which I think is very, very clever. Sadly, I have not been able to reply to her previous mail because, like I said, I, I think it was in the 
in the PO Box 24, right? If I'm not mistaken. So I have not actually been able to reply to her, but mm. what I do when I receive multiple meals from one person is I put them in the to reply folder separately so that you have more chance to get picked and then if i do pick you i will reply to both of your mails at the same time because otherwise it's just going to get confusing but um i have not actually picked from the mail since last time so there is a big chance i might uh pick her name next time i do like the random draw and then there's a tea in here for me enjoy it tastes best with milk it's an australian afternoon tea i have tried this one before not with milk so though i'm definitely going to try that and then oh this is just uh the the box like a piece of the box from the, the tea i'm fairly certain but that would be cute for putting in a journal like this tea i had today and then she also included some washi tape samples for me first of all this geographical kind of one do you call it do you, like the one with the shapes <laughs> this one which i really like and then this one which she also used on the envelope very adorable and then another candy this is a new one peach gummy candy i will try that later and then we have a peeling mask a bubble peeling mask for clean and soft skin texture Ooh, i've never tried that before bubble peeling mask i mean i i love peeling masks i just i've never tried bubble peeling i'm definitely going to put that aside and try that maybe tonight if i can oh no we're going to the movies tonight we're going to see the new maleficent is it called maleficent i used to call it magnificent but i'm fairly certain it's maleficent we're going to see maleficent number two tonight i'm curious to see what it is like if i can get myself out of my pajamas <laughs> that is and then she made another cute little gift bag. I might actually reuse that with some sticker flags for me. Ooh, she has the cutest stickers. All of these. Super adorable. Super, super adorable. I'm just going to write your name in here. If I can find it. Hannah. And I'll put that in the tea basket later <laughs> because it's out of reach and I'm too lazy to get up. <laughs> So thank you so much for this lovely meal, Hannah. Like I said, I'm going to put this one in the to reply pile as well. And hopefully I will one day get to write back to you. Uh, that is still closed, which is this one from Katerina. We all know Katerina. She has written to me. She was actually the first person to ever write to me in my PO books. And she has written to me many times since. Um, she is from the Czech republic i still hope i'm saying that correctly and she always uses these super cool post crossing stamps i do have to say i don't know what is in here because i did open it i'm gonna be honest with you i did open it um but only because my cat sage was she was scratching it she was biting it so i don't know if there's like a particular tea or something in here um that she was so enthusiastic about but i just wanted to see if there was something i could recognize i did not see it yet so i'm very curious maybe sage just wanted to bite the envelope i don't know but out of all of the envelopes she picked this one to bite so i think there might be a tea or something that she smelled and that she responded to oh this is cute oh it's like a loaded envelope that is so cute so katarina always makes the coolest meals oh okay okay i'm getting completely side i'm getting completely distracted first of all the first thing i picked is this it says i made this yarn she has a lot of different creative hobbies such as drawing and apparently making yarn which is super cool i wonder what the story behind that is then the next thing i saw is this which says reusable straws for you and Gijs. Gijs is my boyfriend for those of you who don't know I love reusable straws and these are actually really cool. I only know or I only have those metallic ones. They're nice but sometimes sometimes you want to use something else and then I could use these very colorful reusable straws. Super cute, Katerina. Thank you. And then we have okay so like I said it is oh and she even did some sewing on it. It's a large tag 
with different pockets. And then it says stickers I found at the thrift store. Handmade with love, thank you. These would be perfect for on envelopes. And then we have this book page cutout. So I love this little gift bag. Actually, the other day I um, I did some like journaling with mail I received. And I saved a lot of these little bags that Katarina sent me in her previous mail. They're really nice for journaling. So these are amazing clip oh, I love this idea. She actually used scalloped scissors to make it look very, very cool. Oh, that is nice. These are so pretty. Perfect for like vintage, or these would even be perfect for uh, fall themed mail. I'm definitely going to put these to good use. <clears throat> In the last Pierre Books mail opening I did, I was actually very sick. I uh, was editing that video the other day and oh my gosh, <laughs> I, I'm so quiet and all and people actually, I actually got messages from people saying, hey, are you okay? Because <laughs> you didn't sound so good. But that was just because I was sick. It's not like, I don't know, nothing weird or anything. I really like this. And then we have, I think, a postcard, a vintage postcard from the Netherlands. Oh, that's such a coincidence. Printed in Holland. Oh, and, you, and it says, Groeten uit de bloem... Wow, I cannot even talk my own language. Groeten uit de bloembollenvelden. Tulpen, which basically means greetings from the... Flower bulb fields? Tulips. Flower bulb feeds. Fields. Flower bulb fields. Bulb. Feed. This is really weird. I'm just going to stay stick to English for now. And we have a random postcard that really looks like new, so I decorated it. <gasps> oh my god, that does look like noose. Why? I always thought that noose was very special with the the spot on her chin, like the little beard. But there, I've actually received a lot of postcards with black and white cats with a spot, like a beard. So I don't think she's that original anymore. Still love her a lot, but <laughs> this is quite a coincidence. It does look a lot like noose. I'm going to hang this. I have like a, a cork board on the side of my dr dresser and it has all of the the noose ephemera, the noose memorabilia you guys made. So that's going on there. This is the letter which I will keep upside down because that's for me to read. Letter writing set I thought you would like. Oh my god, that's so sweet. Oh, we've got envelopes with flowers and we've got the writing paper. That is really pretty. A beautiful color blue definitely going to use these soon and then we have oh you got she got an instagram art okay uh -uh. i'm gonna read this out and i will try and put it in the description as well art at art dot underscore by dot underscore cat with a k gonna try and find you and link it down below sometimes i tell people that i will try to find them on instagram and then i cannot find them but i'm sure i can find you this is like the layout of her meal quite like that idea and then i think we've got a drawing oh oh <laughs> that's so cute a drawing of you noose and sage that's adorable <laughs> That's really adorable. And also a cat paper clip. This is obviously me with a flower crown. That would be Sage. That's Noose. <laughs> you actually managed to capture their, <laughs> their facial expressions quite well as well. And then we've got a little watering can, a stamp, coffee and an, a letter, which of course describes me very well. I'm going to hang both of them up soon after this video. Thank you so much, Katarina. I always really like reading what you've been up to so i will um read that afterwards and i have to admit that i picked your name from the to reply pile quite a while ago i just haven't haven't had the chance to write the letter yet so a reply from me is coming and i might actually um reply to the things you've written in here as well but just know that it is on its way it might just be a little bit delayed 
then which one is next i'm actually going to pick this one which i have opened before um this one is from kelly just checking to see if i got that right and the funny thing is kelly is actually the sister of ariana and in the previous po box mail video we had a mail from ariana i've also opened mail from her last year christmas and once before that um and it's kind of funny that we have sisters in the two revive pile now i low-key wish i had a sibling i could craft with but i'm not going to be too jealous my brother has different qualities <laughs> let's just put it like that but uh how fun how fun is that i don't know i wish i'm a little bit jealous i wish i had a sister i could craft with but okay i'm going to show you the envelope first and then the mail because they actually match she used like the same style paper um she used this beautiful pink striped but the inside i hope you guys can see the inside is also really pretty with florals she told me that this was actually a scrap scrapbook scrapbook what, what am i saying actually a scrapbooking kit from i think scrap delight which is a dutch designer slash web shop I will try and find it and link it down below if you guys want to check it out. Not sponsored or anything, I just thought that was really, really cute. Oh, before I forget, she also has an Instagram. It's called Doodles and Diaries. It's really, really fun. This is the actual meal. As you can see, it matches really, really nicely because she used the same paper, Good Morning Vivian. But it's actually a little mini album and it's really, really cute. I absolutely, I already looked at this. I opened it uh, on Instagram. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you might have seen it already. But I'm just going to go through it now as well because it's full of ideas that I think you guys will really, really like. So she, I'm fairly certain she might have only used that. Uh, kit from Scrap Delight so, because everything matches so nicely and then she even has these matching enamel dots which I absolutely love and she did some stitching or sewing or something I don't know it looks really really cool so I'm sorry I'm just a big fan of this um, we start off with saying hi Vivian and then her note is in here which I'm obviously going to leave and then she has these little flaps such a good idea washi tape sample flap and a hello die cut flap adorable little envelope really like that then like i also really like the structure of her meal i might have to can i show like i hope you guys can see this i don't i, I don't actually know how she did this might have to try and figure it out for a video it's like zigzag i think the inside is one piece of paper and then the outside is another piece of paper, but I do not know exactly how. Well, we're just gonna figure that out. Um, so a little flap and then the next flap has this um, Polaroid frame. And then in here, I'm not gonna lift it all the way up, but there's actually a selfie of her, which is such a cute little idea, like a little Polaroid in a pocket I can look at. And then there's another tuck spot behind here which is a meal tag she filled it out so it says me coffee or tea up to mr realist etc etc and then there was a site for me to fill out as well a meal tag i can read it out it's um because i already colored in the ones i would pick so i would pick coffee over tea i'm a realist over an optimist i am quiet over loud i prefer both city and nature i usually prefer beach over mountains although i also love both i prefer airbnb over hotels although again i love both spring over autumn again i love both i prefer gold over silver uh, boots over heels and sun over moon so that was a really really cute idea for a meal tag i've never seen that before i thought you guys would like that as well and the next flap has a cute little pocket again with some goodies we've got some enamel dots i could use some pearls some butterflies that i could also use and then the next page has this quote which she stitched on there life is made of small moments like this <laughs> and i don't know i like all of the little details she put on there oh then the final two pockets we've got this little baggie with tea 
it has a little belly band i think this is called a belly band right a little tea belly band and then it's like a little booklet that has tea in it for me and then we have these adorable um stickers and then uh, over here we have another tuck spot i also love these light blue animal dolls i think they might have come with the scrapbooking kit because they match so perfectly i think there's a couple more somewhere yeah here the the blue ones and the pink ones they match so well i'm fairly certain they were included and then a beautiful diamond paperclip and some project life cards little moments choose joy really really nice so thank you so much for all of this kelly i really really liked um receiving this in the mailbox i don't get mail in my home address that often anymore so whenever there's something colorful it just makes me super happy <laughs> but then again that's why i got the po box okay Okay, I'm gonna grab another one that has been looking at me the entire time. This one is from Nikki. We also know Nikki as Snail Did Crafts because she wrote to me in the previous PO Box mail. In the previous PO Box mail, I got super excited by the fact that she has her own logo stickers. And then she said to me that she would make me some. So I have to admit, I already did open this. I took one sneak peek, but I am going to open it with you guys um, like fully. First of all, the envelope itself is really, really pretty. She used beautiful stamps. She used a lot of Maggie Holmes items. I can even see she has some Maggie Holmes washi type. I'm very, very jealous. And some of the stickers that I also have. Absolutely love those. And then inside is this beautiful, beautiful package. It says, smile often, present for you. I did not actually open it, like I said. I just looked. Okay, I don't know cut me off sadly but i opened i managed to open it we've got a chipboard girl here that's very very cute but i'm too excited by the content to look at it for very long we have my very own logo stickers this is so cool this is like really really exciting if you couldn't tell already she made me these little logo stickers it says meal from the paper letter blog made by vivian how adorable is that i'm absolutely obsessed like i want to use them i also want to hoard them really really cute cool i'm so excited by this that's really adorable and then i can see she included some other little goodies for me as well yeah get it off this is some strong foam tape these seem to be some other circle stickers we've got present for you we've got for you in gold foil oh pretty present for you present for you in red oh these are nice the gold foiling that's nice that's perfect for like envelopes and presents i mean duh and then these i think she might have also made these herself although i don't know they just look really cute they're also like envelope stickers such as please do not bend and airmail. I can see she also used them on her um, on her envelope. Yep, yeah, airmail. These are so much cuter than our usual airmail stickers. That's absolutely adorable. Nikki, I am beyond excited. I cannot wait to start using those. I might have to place an order with you because i'm going to need a lot more <laughs> and i just think it's very very sweet that she decided to make me some because she saw how excited i got i just think that that's really a very very big act of kindness and yes i'm keeping them aside because i'm going to use them right away okay i think we can open one or two more Let's have some coffee mm. before it gets too dark. Let me know also, is this lighting still okay? Like I said, it's now nearly 4.30. I, like, I want to film at this time. It's the perfect time to film. It's just the lighting that is terrible. Okay, we're going to open this one. That is from Jane. Um, I completely lost my train of thought. 
Jane, I recognize your handwriting, I recognize the envelope and of course her return address is on the back as well. She also used some more beautiful stamps every time she has new ones, which is really, really cool. We've got an Irish Coast Guard one, we've got a Cushion Star one and an Irish Orchid one. I hope you guys can also see this. I'm just gonna go straight into opening it. Okay. Hey, it's kind of weird by the way. I'm here, I've been here for like an hour and there's no cats. <laughs> Where are you guys? Oh, it's like a little loaded pocket. We've got, at the bottom here, we've got some kind of sticker tape from Crane. Is it a crane? Is it called a crane? I think it's a crane bird, right? Keep forgetting. And then, ooh, some cute little ties. There seems to be a note here. Is this a note? Yeah, this is her note, which I'm going to leave for after and then this sticker that says a little something really cute i like the paper you chose as well jane very colorful and cute some stuff inside whoa oh what is this we've got a tag we've got a washi tape sample another tag and then what is this a pretty bookmark I don't know what you would call this. It's like, it's not fabric. Is it, is it tool? Is it tool? It might be tool actually. Oh, that's colorful and cute. This makes me think of like the ocean, the colors. Hmm. I have to come up with something cool I can do with that. Maybe make a shaker. That would definitely be cool <laughs> if you ask me. So thank you so much for that very colorful meal, Jane. I still, I, ha I still haven't replied to you, I just realized. I mean, statistically speaking, your chances get bigger and bigger that I'm going to pick you, right? <laughs> so I'm sure one day I will reply to you. Wait, what am I saying? I did reply to you, Jane, but I think it was in like spring, right? Am I correct? So um, I have replied to you, but just not in the last couple of months. Okay, let's see what else we grab. Let's grab a big one now. I'm grabbing this one from Germany. First of all, again, the stamps. This one from the, the little prince or Der Kleine Prinz in German. I hope I'm saying that correctly. That's so cool. It's from 2014. Very special. I have never seen that before. And then these beautiful nature ones as well. Very cool. This one is from Gabby from, like I said, Germany. And it has a little bit of a fall theme on here. It says here, autumn. And it's, I don't know, it's very, very heavy. I mean, very fat and large. So I'm excited to see what's in there. It's like my birthday all over. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can see something very pretty. Oh, oh wow oh this is clever a little bubble wrap i'm gonna save that for outgoing mail <gasps> oh my gosh this is like a journal it's an actual book yeah that's so cool that is so cool and how professionally wrapped is this oh my gosh Wow, beautiful autumn. Oh my gosh, is this? <gasps> what? I think this is like a, an, an actual journal. This is so cool, I cannot believe you made this. This is her letter, it says to Vivian. Or at least I think she made it, let me just check the, the note. It doesn't actually say, but yeah, I'm like 99% sure she made this herself. Or at least she decorated it herself. But you have to let me know, is this... Mm, did you alter a cover or did you make this? I'm like completely blown away. It even has these, these uh, sturdy corners, which is so cool. And then there's a lot of tuck spots. I'm like completely blown away okay so inside we have this um 
it might actually be a travel journal. How would I classify this? Inside we have this um, blank, blank pages notebook that is decorated with these fall, fall stickers. And then on the left here we have all of these talk spots, which I'm going to get into in a second. And then on the back we have again more talk spots, which is so cool. I'm just realizing that this is the third journal I've received and all of them are fall themed. I actually have this one on my desk right now. This one that I received from Beck last year, Becca, Rebecca. <laughs> This one is also fall themed. I already, um, I already flipped through it in a previous PO box opening video, but she also made me a fall journal, and I actually have it on my desk right now because I'm waiting to get some pictures printed. And when I have the pictures printed, I'm going to make some pages in there, and then I have another one which is in my in my bookcase, which is this one, which is also a travel journal. And I got this one, if I remember correctly, from Dina. And it's also fall themed. I mean, it also has these, I'm leaving it closed because it looks so pretty, but it also has all of the tuck spots and goodies and <laughs> there's something with fall and journaling, but I'm definitely going to, to use them this year. So here we have these die cuts. Mm, this is such a pretty collection. I think I actually have this paper. Do I? Don't know. And then we have these beautiful die cuts. We have some Halloween themed washi tape, which is very cute. And then here, oh yes, this I have. This is like a fall crafting basket. Look, this is the same, right? I think, yeah, this is the same. So this is Forever Fall from Simple Stories. I wonder if that's what you used as well. So pretty. I have not been, I have not actually managed to use the die cuts yet because they are too precious to use. So I'm glad to have some extra to make it a little bit easier for myself to actually use some and then we have another like flap where we have more washi tape samples oh that's beautiful oh how does this how did this happen okay i just realized i think my tripod slowly shifted because i keep moving and then my tripod moves and because the that it's like it's like an how do you call this it has like a, an extended arm so all of the weight is on the front of the arm but the tripod is actually way back here so because the weight is like not evenly distributed i think it slowly tilted sideways but i'm gonna pay attention to it now make sure you guys can see what's happening but i was saying what was I saying? I'm completely distracted now. I don't know, I guess I was looking at this beautiful washi type sample and this die cut and then we have a pocket here. Harvest Market. Okay, I'm like, I need to know. I need to know. Yeah, this has to be the same. Okay, I solved the mystery. Fall Break by Cartabella. So that's how you know you really nailed my style if I have the papers myself. <laughs> so we have these beautiful die cuts. I like this tuck spot. I don't know how you would call that, but I really like that. And then behind here as well. Oh, I see some stickers. <gasps> that is nice. Some matching stickers. A fall Break. Really, really pretty. Is that a magnet? What is that? Hmm. So cool. And then, like I said, the journal, which I could even take out or replace if it's full. 
And then on the other side, we have some more Happy Halloween. Pumpkin farm. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> That is so pretty. We've got some more washi tape samples, which I'm very excited about. Okay, let those some Halloween ones and some leaf ones, which is very pretty. I hope my head is not in the shop the whole time. I have to get used to this setup. <laughs> and then these adorable little shaped paper clips. Oh my goodness! This is incredible. <gasps> This is really, really cool. This is really, really cool. I'm going to put that up for display somewhere. And then I, I will probably start using it next year. Because this year I'm using the one from Becca. Like I said. Um, let's just do another one. I'm in the mood now. This one is from Sue's. Okay, cannot pronounce this. Sue, so sweet. Treasures or so. I think it's so, not Sue. So, 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 so sweet. Treasures from Canada. It doesn't actually say a name, but this person also has a really cool logo and logo stickers. So I'm just gonna open it to figure out who this is from. And then also, oh, sleeping kitty. So cute. It's from Canada. Did I already say that? I think I did. Mm. Oh, that's so cute. It's a sleep. It's the same kitty. Rest, relax, restore. Oh, cute. Dear Vivian, I really love watching your channel. You have reawakened my lost love of paper products. Oh my god, that's so cool. Keep doing. Amazing videos and being yourself on camera. I hope to be able to have your success one day. Okay, this is really stupid, but I cannot, I don't actually know what your name is because I can read it. It's, I think it says, I don't know what it says. This is really stupid. It might say, Saher Fa. Oh, I don't know. I'm so sorry. I cannot actually read it. I even looked up your Etsy store to see if it was there, but it wasn't either. <laughs> But thank you so much for this incredible little loaded, loaded, loaded greeting card, I guess I should say. And I'm going to try and find your Etsy store and link it down below. And here it says, I hope you like the presents. We've got a beautiful washi type sample. We have got all of these punched out hearts from a vintage paper. We have this adorable mini note card, and then here we have an embossed tag, which is absolutely adorable. So thank you so much for that. I'm going to put it aside for hopefully replying to later. And of course, I'm going to use all of the goodies you've sent me. Okay, I think I should do one more because otherwise the next video is going to be too long. Eight, nine. Okay, I think this should be the last one then. This one is from Chloe. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Her Instagram is Pino. P E N O U. Chloe, C H L O A. I will link her Instagram down below because I don't actually know how to pronounce it. Pronouncing things <sighs> seems to be a problem today. She actually reached out to me because, funnily enough, she lives quite close to Breda. Um, and I have already opened this to look at the letter which is in here, but I'm going to show you what she sent me now. First of all, she decorated the envelope with this beautiful shimmery paint. And then, um, how do you call this? Like texture paste, I think. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> I don't know what to say anymore. And then, this is such a great idea. She used 
colored cardstock, as you can see. And then this is the beautiful flip book she sent me. And she did something really, really cool. She used white cardstock and then she actually splattered that with this, I don't know, it's like shimmer spray, I think. And that is the background. Here you can see it as well. That's the background for this flip book, which I think is so cool. It makes it stand out so much more. And then this beautiful um, leafy die cut and this like rope. I don't know. It looks like rope, which is very cool. And it says a door. Quite like that idea. It's like a little piece of art. And then inside was her letter, which I read already, and a beautiful bookmark. And she asked me if I read books, and yes, I do. I'm actually reading a book now that doesn't have a bookmark, so I might as well put it in there straight away. Very beautiful vintage image on there as well. She also included some tea for me, which I haven't had in a long time. It's called Caramelized Pear, which smells so good. She has an adorable little meal tag in one of those fold-out envelopes which is so cute and I'm of course going to leave the letter closed but it looks so nice and then she has another one of these beautiful die cuts that she used to hold together all of the goodies we have these beautiful label stickers I actually recognize them I know they're from Sostrene Grene which is a store we have here because I have the same ones, just a different color scheme. But I did not realize they came out with new colors, so I'm a little bit sad I didn't get them because they're very pretty pastel colors. Then a beautiful washi tape sample where she also included the washi tape she used, which makes me very excited because I thought it was very pretty. Just realizing now, is this from the same collection? Or is that like a coincidental match? Very pretty. And then a lot of pretty papers and some stickers, some circle stickers and some very beautiful papers. Okay, like this, this sunlight is actually because the sun hits a window across the street and it's, how do you call that? Like the sun goes into the window and then whoop, right at my desk. So it looks like we've got sunlight, but that's not actually sunlight. That's just a reflection. Some of this beautiful paper, which is very, very nice. Some of this, which looks vintage. Some of this aligned paper. Some vintage book pages and some note pages. And then this is really cool. This is like, a, I think this is Bible verses. Bible verses, is that how you call it? I do not actually go to church, but it looks perfect for decorating so that is really really cool so i am going to hopefully reply to you in the future chloe thank you so much for your lovely mail it's such a funny coincidence that we live so close um to each other ever sign if i ever sound tired just realize i'm not sad i'm just tired <laughs> that's not a complaint by the way that's just a little bit of information in between but like i said chloe thank you so much for your incredible mail i absolutely adore this look this the goodies you've sent me and i cannot wait to reply to you hopefully in the future and to you all thank you so much for watching i hope you like this video if you did you know what to do please give it a thumbs up that helps me grow my channel and reach more people which would be fun because we need as many people in the snail mail community as we possibly can don't forget to follow me on instagram and here on youtube if you want to see more of what i make and what i receive and the videos i do and i will see you again very soon Okay, bye bye. Oh, by the way, don't forget to come back because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more pieces of meal that we're going to open. So I will see you for that soon as well. <laughs> bye.